What a level that was. Now, I'm not sure where we are on time. I did pick a topic for the day. If I did a topic for the day, that was very short. Um, so I'm not sure where we're at. But, regardless, if this is a new episode, hey, my name's Pal. We're going into Volcanic Panic. <sighs> All right. I got my anger controller. I was trying to... I was going to talk about... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's mean. That's really mean. They have they have fire pacasites. But yeah, I was I was talking about my controller earlier, and I realized that I never really brought that home. Um, I was gonna mention GameCube controllers and how hard they are to find nowadays. It's it's really rough. With with uh, if you want to play GameCube games, it's like you have to drop a lot of money on GameCube controllers and. It's not even a problem of them needing to be remade, because they were just remade for for Smash. But that also created like it it's created a supply, but an even bigger demand. And now game controllers are impossible to find. Uh, do I get a power pellet somewhere? What am I? Oh, okay, they're there. I was gonna say I, I want the token that's undoubtedly in, inside of this one. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, let's eat this. Wait a minute. I can't pass that. Um. Oh, it turns it off. For a little bit. Ow. I'm guessing that the pack... The token was inside him. Yeah, game controllers are really hard to find. And it's really sad because... Especially with the Wii U. The Wii U has been... Uh, has proven itself as, like, the best emulation console. Just period. And... Oh, you stupid thing. And it's, it's kind of rough that, honestly, it's cheaper to buy... Oh, I, I was thinking, oh, it's, it's not insta-kill, but no, it's insta-kill. Got it! But yeah, it's cheaper to buy... Uh, a rev roll should be able to clear this gap. I should hope so. Weird that they have to tell you that. It, it's it's cheaper to buy a Wii U than it is to buy... It's actually cheaper to buy a Wii U than it is to buy... Oh, goodness. Than it is to buy two GameCube controllers that are brand new. Is that sad? Is that incredibly sad? In fact, I have two GameCube controllers. I, I remember I bought them. I bought these GameCube controllers... Ugh. Uh, in the Skyward... During the Skyward Sword LP. They were $30 a piece and brand new, sealed. And they're thirty dollars a piece. Now they're hundred hundred and ninety. After two Smash games worth of new controllers, they're hundred and ninety dollars a piece. It is nuts. I can't see my shadows. Oh, this is hard. I, I mean I can barely make them out, but not enough. Not enough. Uh, thankfully these these platforms don't fall, and I'm starting to get a handle on them. Uh, running jump. Yes. 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 Uh, with... The okay. Got it. I guess that's not the only only thing I have that's worth a crazy amount of money now. Uh, I originally, I got uh, the original Xenoblade, and that was $80. Well, I bought it for $80 at the time at a GameStop, and it was like $120. And now, it's worth... Uh, well, it, it was worth $120, and then after the re-release... It dropped down to like twenty dollars, but I did buy in the same day, uh, Dokapon Kingdom, which is a, a crazy little let's play. It's or not let's play, crazy little game, um, which is a cross between uh, Mario Party and an RPG. It's really fun, and that's worth a hundred and sixty, I think, uh, for just the disc. Sealed, it's worth a lot more, and I I got just the disc. Okay, we got the orange, so I can grab this now. Um, we're just going across, I believe. It's just kind of sad because if you guys want to play the game, you're... Uh, get out of the thing. Get out of it. You're kind of... Oh, that's so weird. You kind of can. Unless you, like, emulate it and... And use a different controller, it's really difficult. Now, fun, fun fact. You saw... You can actually see through this lava... And this area is really buggy. If you watch a speedrun, there's a certain point, it might just be all of the walls, that you can rev roll through the walls. 
and skip this and because you'll you, this is a spoiler that this lava will will lower again and you can um yeah you can actually skip quite a bit uh this platform it moves when we rev roll and here's the thing though i want that melon oh got it do i need the straw i don't think i need the strawberry but it's there Ow, that's kind of unfair. That's... I made it. Yeah, that was that was kind of a jerk move, game. Just throw a spike on me like that? How was I supposed to... How was I supposed to see that coming? How? Was I supposed to look up? Uh, we're gonna have to backtrack anyway. Oh, there's a token up there. You saw that. Okay. This'll be fun. The This world, man. This world... Not only is this world ma want, making me want barbecue, because... This world would make you pretty barbecued. But, oh no, oh no, oh no. Salvage! I almost made that. Oh, wait, wait, oh, I almost made that! Oh, that's sad. Okay, very intentional. Grab it now. Jump! Flying leap! I, I actually tried to do a second jump there. Oh, my A button's acting kind of weird. But the jump didn't work. This is a good texture. This is a really good texture. It looks like it's made of metal and it's rusting, although it could also be interpreted as... Oh, hi. These are, um... I have a name for these. Neander Packs. And that one looks like it's very eager to see me. And I'm not really eager to see him. Oh, he broke up. Oh, oh, he's, oh and he's dead. I kind of expected him to come back together. They're both dead. There are a bunch of switches here. I'm not sure what they do, but we will find out. Uh, the green one usually does something like level progression-wise. Oh. Um, okay. Neat. What are we doing? What are we doing? Lava goes down? I guess it's magma at this point. La uh, magma goes down. Not all the way, though. I'm guessing that's what this does. Or, wait, what? Oh, hi. Ow. That kind of stung. Um, okay, we get a packet trail. That is Christmassy. Look at that. It's so Christmassy. I'm not sure if we need this. I, I'll i take it, but I'm not sure if it was just there to defeat the, the Pacosite or if we need it. We'll find out. Taking a merry trail. Right close to lava. Oh, it burns, it burns, it burns, it burns. Yeah, I think I was talking about uh, game controllers. Oh, we have another one. Die. You guys can't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was saying that. Um, you guys can't really play it unless you have a game controller, or I guess it is pretty accessible because you could get either uh, if you have a game controller, you can play it. If you have a Wii, you can play it. Thank you t for the token. If you have a um, a Wii U, you can play it because em emulation exists. I don't encourage piracy, but... Okay, I don't think that I... There's no sign here, but I think this means... Yeah. We're supposed to do that. Now we're on, on... Ever onward. Press the B button to jump off a ledge while hanging. Oh, boy. Using... We're using all the mechanics this this episode. It's, it's a bit nuts. Where am I going? That was a very good trajectory. Grab it. Thank you, camera. I actually thank the camera. Okay, that either hurts me or boosts me. I think it hurts me because it's gray. It's smoke. It's not steam. So, B, also the fact that Pac-Man... Yeah, the fact that Pac-Man let go with one hand makes me think that he will let go if I stay too long in one spot. Thankfully, this... Ow. Thankfully, this mechanic isn't that bad. Uh, wait. How? How? What? I'll die, right? I'm not... I'm not sure how to grab that. I'll take damage. Okay, I guess maybe it wanted me to take the hit. I thought it would blow me off the, the ledge, but it's thankfully more forgiving than that. I'm waiting for this fire... Sp yeah, I was waiting for that. Because I, uh, I do have... One hit left before the next kills me. Uh, fire will come out. It's very hard to tell the perspective with this fire. And... Ow. Yeah, see that? I didn't think that would hit me. 
Grab the melon. Oh, the Galaxian. Uh, sure, I'll show off the level and then skip it. Whoa, camera. <laughs> Look at that perspective. Look at that 3D perspective. This is technology only accessible on the Nintendo GameCube made by Nintendo. Oh boy. Tight timing, tight timing. Very tight timing. They are also programmed to never reverse their direction of travel. Oh, am I dead? Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <sighs> I've even found myself playing around their AI as One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that crazy perspective. It is the future! Back in Volcano Panic. We're going to lower the lava level one last time. And so far, I'm impressed with this level. I'm impressed with this world. The mechanics feel very good. It We're using, like, we're using practically everything that we've learned. Suddenly the screen dimmed. That was kind of weird. We're using everything that we've learned up until this point. That was stupid. I needed to do that. Oh, I have one hit left. Oh, that's... That's fun. I'm gonna die. The Galaxian is my checkpoint, but I'm, I am going to die. One of these fire bursts is going to hit me randomly because I, I can't really see them. <laughs> what did I say? It was going to hit me and I was going to die from it because the camera isn't designed for me to be backtracking even though that's what the level expects. I'm not compla complaining too much. Oh, goodness. What, what am I supposed to do? Um. Oh. That was blind! Yeah, I'm not sure what the game wanted me to do, to do there. Oh. Yeah, I I'm liking this world. It's using almost every single mechanic we we've gotten thus far, and it almost feels like the final world of the game, which is kind of weird considering that we have two worlds left. <laughs> you know? This isn't the final world. Okay, this isn't... Wait. Oh, oh no, no, no. Is the lava rising? The lava's rising, isn't it? The lava's rising, I realized too late! In fact, actually, I don't think it's that the lava's rising. It's that this is lowering, or it might be that the lava's rising. I think it is rising. Yeah, it's rising. I can't really see. I missed a box. Hopefully it wasn't important. I'm not sure if it's gonna continue to rise! I cheated death! I cheated death! Get me out, get me out, get me out! <laughs> I don't. I don't know why I turned into. Uh, is it Curly from the Three Stooges? <laughs> Video game manuals have become a thing of the past. Explaining the controls can be done in the first hour of gameplay. Enemy names are shown in the credits or revealed by a companion, and safety warnings show as the game boots up. Most genres have been around long enough that no one needs to be told that R is shoot or A is jump. And yet, here I am devoting a TODT towards showing off the manual. Why? Because this thing is 36 pages long, and that isn't because it repeats the same 7 pages in 5 languages. Of course, there are some standard manual things like a brief synopsis of the story, how to control Pac-Man... What? Are those spoilers for worlds we haven't seen yet? Yeah, this manual goes all out. It spoils every world, every mechanic, and even goes out of its way to explain what levels are. The only way my hand could be held tighter was if it explained what video games are. You know those videos showing every possible way you can die in a video game? Don't bother making one for Pac-Man World 2 because the manual describes every possible cause of death. It has a compendium of friends and foes, but don't write home about it. As much as I would have enjoyed if the names of the enemies were a play on words, or shared the quirkiness of Pikmin's cast, unfortunately their names are right on the nose. Bat. Pack Bear. Jumping Fish. Well, I guess there's this guy. He and his like appear in three colors, earning them the name RGB. <laughs> <sighs> More people would have gotten that joke back in 03. 
Some of these spoil us on later worlds, but thankfully those screenshots aren't what I found interesting, so I can blur them out. Do you see this? And this? Those levels aren't in the final game. This field of view is impossible to obtain with the in-game camera. The camera was most likely finalized late in development since FOV differences are a recurring trend in most of these screenshots. I didn't want to test each of the 24 screenshots in the booklet, and this detail is kind of boring, so this is the only field of view difference that I'm going to point out. This version of the forest uses a different ground texture, and the pack cub is absent from bare basics. This is not what treetops looks like in the final product. Are those brambles down below? This is the closest I could get to matching the booklet screenshot, but the fish is jumping the wrong way and there's no power pelt in the background, so I think this is a completely different version of Icy River Run. As far as I know, and we haven't played the next level, so I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think this platform texture exists in the final version of the game, so this was also part of the test environment. A telling detail is that all of these images depict the players having three lives, suggesting that a console command was used to unlock every level. The last two screenshots, which I can't show because they're spoilers, are images of the final product and have a different amount of lives. The credits, which are conveniently located at the back of the book, reveal the manual's design was outsourced to the Price Design Team. They probably asked the devs to provide screenshots early in development so that they had time to design all 36 pages. So thanks, Price. Because of your overachievement, we got a glimpse of the beta. Oh, <laughs> and without you, we would still be wondering, debating, postulating that elusive question, what are levels? My foot is cramping up. Ow. Stop it, foot. No. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Normally I don't like... I don't talk about things that are happening outside of the game, but cramp is not something you can really Ow. <laughs> avoid talking about. It's not really something you can just smile and be like, uh -huh. yeah, and it's going great. Magma Opus, next time. These were fantastic levels. I, yes, they're difficult, and as a child, I hated them, but nah, at this point, I think that these are some of the best levels. It feels like a final world, and I know it's not, but... It's testing every one of our skills, our platforming skill, the us being intentional with our move, or me being intentional with our movement, you're not exactly playing with me, although it is a let's play. Me being intentional with my movement, just platforming in general, it's it's great. And I'm, I, I hope it's not just me. I hope you guys, from the comments, I, I believe you guys are looking at this and... and and analyzing the game. I, I, I had a conversation with, uh, with a commenter, I think it was Toilet Yoshi actually, that about the music, and I hope that as we're going through this, you're looking at these levels and being like, wow, these are well ahead of their time. These are, are far beyond ahead of their time. Like, yes, there, were, there weren't that many 3D platformers at this point in, in, in gaming history, like, Super Mario 64 was the main inspiration, and none of these levels feel like Super Mario 64 at all. They feel like something that is entirely their own, that even today is is some, a style that's still adopted. Having these levels that they're, they're not exactly giant sandboxes with multiple objectives, like in Super Mario 64, but they are their own spread of linearness, but, but challenging. Like... They're linear, but they're, that's not a bad thing. It's it's a, a set of challenges, and they're very good. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I release new episodes of Pac-Man World 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. And join me next time where we finish off the Lava World, which is not the last world of the game, with Magma Opus and, well, the level after that. Whew, I need some barbecue. See you guys then. <laughs>